Peace, fam. Scotty Reed here with another Black Talk Radio News report. On this particular report, we will be focusing on modern COINTELPRO and proxy racism. Those are two elements in this story coming out of New York City. The Guardian is reporting that the NYPD infiltrated, hence COINTELPRO, infiltrated the local op. op perceive or I assume uh, Black Lives Matter movement doing protests and just organizing. I don't know how deep it goes. Um, the NYPD of course is not being forthright with the information even under Freedom of Information at request which again if you have nothing to hide then why do you want to keep records secret um, and fight their release and court if you're not doing anything wrong so I, I just don't even understand how anybody can argue on behalf of keeping documents secret or at least any citizen when we're talking about a government entity so according to the Guardian share excerpt with you legal papers filed by the New York Police Department revealed that the department sent its own undercover officers to protest led by Black Lives Matter after the death of Eric Garner the NYPD documents also show that it collected multimedia records about the protests. The NYPD disclosed its undercover operations in response to a group of New York attorneys requesting records under the state freedom of information law. The department has thus far declined to provide the records requested. Again, if they have nothing to hide, if the NYPD has nothing to hide, why are they fighting um, the release of these public records? So when people say they're public servants and all that type of stuff, it makes absolutely no sense uh, when you look at how these entities operate. And the NYPD has operated as a terrorist organization under the cover of state operations. Let me just give you some history. Let's just go to the 1960s with the formation of the Black Panther Party. This was a legitimate nonprofit providing uh, health and services, health services as well as other basic needs to the communities they was oper they were operating in just like any other nonprofit, but they were also a political party. They had, I mean, I, I could talk all day about all the things the Black Panther Party uh, did. They were targeted by J. Edgar Hoover's FBI, might as well say the U.S. government. J. Edgar Hoover wrote the handbook on COINTELPRO and what did they use? How do you infiltrate an organization, especially um, when back then in the 60s things were more clearly defined along color lines so if you want to spy on martin luther king jr if you want to spy on the nation of islam if you want to spy on black um excuse me black panther party then what you do is recruit people to infiltrate those organizations and you pay them to collect information and you provide, and so we know how that works. So I guess that's where the term sellout came from. I mean, there it's been coming out now, like the guy, the black guy, um, it's good. I don't even want to uh, repeat his name to get him any kind of fame, but he is a well-known civil rights photographer with intimate photos of civil rights leaders, especially Martin Luther King, come to find out this dude working for uh, racism, white supremacy, um, USA Inc. for the federal government getting paid. So do y'all think um, they still would not employ those same tactics when they continue to work? So Black uh, Panther Party, for example, there you've had the FBI back in the 60s. It might have been the 70s or the 80s, but they actually started chapters like in Baltimore of the Black Panther Party, then recruit people and then really just putting their names on the list. Like I've said, people do kind of overuse the word fascism, but for non-white people in this country, it's always been a state of fascism, and I challenge anyone to deny that. And in fact, public opinion depends on what communities are being affected when we see these sort of Gestapo-like tactics of the NYPD. 
uh, which, which, by the way, Bill Bratton, the former commissioner, actually admitted in a speech to cadets uh, joining the NYPD slave catchers that whenever something bad happens in the black community, the police, so-called law enforcement has always been involved. Those were the enforcers of Jim Crow. I mean, it's, it's not a matter of hating anybody. It's a matter of stating uh, the facts. So here we have the NYPD engaged in illegal COINTEL Pro tactics. These people, though, I don't know, do they take an oath to defend the Constitution? How are you going to defend the Constitution when you're constantly violating it? All right. And then people want to talk about Blue Lives Matter. Um, and then, you know, hold the Constitution to be so sacred. These are the number one violators of the Constitution who uphold all the unjust laws and uh, trample upon people's liberties and freedoms and they are the number one reason that you have the world's number one prison slave population. But in terms of proxy racism, let's go there. Of course, if you want to infiltrate these organizations, you got to, again, recruit these black people. So what kind of protocols does your organization have in place to prevent that? And is it logical to uh, unite with anyone work with anyone solely based on a skin color when that skin color can be used or that phenotype can be used against you when there have been throughout history uh, many people who could be called sellouts. I know that seems like name calling but I mean it, the description fits or the term fits. They sold out for in exchange for X, Y, and Z for information on their own village, on their own group on whoever so what are your thoughts leave your comments below subscribe to the youtube channel uh black talk media or black talk radio uh like us on facebook excuse me that's twitter right where do you like people at yeah follow us on facebook at black talk radio network twitter at black talk radio and of course our network home is blacktalkradionetwork.com uh, on any other platform share your comments and we'll probably share them in the future uh, black talk radio news report love to get feedback from the listeners and of course support independent media where you can however you can make a donation today at blacktalkmediaproject.org this is Scotty fam I'm out